My name is Andrew Eucles, wildlife expert and survivalist, and my mission in life has been to bring you closer to nature in a way that has never been done before. Now let me show you what it takes to become wild. Join me on a wild journey into the unknown, meeting industry professionals and inviting you into the secret world of nature. Hold on, Chuchi. This is going to be a hell of a ride. We are all born wild, but it's a choice to be tamed. Seventy percent of the Earth's surface is below the ocean, yet ninety-five percent of it remains unexplored to the human eye. With new species being found every year, we are slowly building a better understanding of the aquatic world. But there is still so little knowledge on how the creatures of the ocean communicate and how complex their social systems are. This experience explores some of those secrets. Right, George, so we're in the ocean today and I'm going to be doing a passive experiment to test the intelligence, the curiosity and the territorial nature of the octopus. Now, these guys live a very secretive life and I'm hoping to capture some of their secretive nature using a Rubik's Cube and a box with a mirror. And you're probably thinking, what the hell is this guy going on about? Well, George, keep watching because I'm about to show you something you've never seen before. All right. With this experiment, I'm testing whether the octopus engages with the Rubik's Cube. How does it perceive an unfamiliar object and how will it react? To do this, I've set up a camera on a time lapse to capture every second of his behaviour. Leaving the octopus with the Rubik's Cube, I explore a nearby reef which harbours a great diversity of aquatic life. The grey nurse shark is an Australian threatened species of shark, which is found in shallow inshore waters of the coastline. But there are many other shark species which reside in these shallow waters, including the wobbegong shark, a notorious nocturnal hunter. This species relies on its cryptic nature and ambush style approach to catch on wary prey. Another bottom dwelling species, the stingray, a cartilaginous fish, also related to the sharks, can be found in shallow waters, with a number of different species being found on the south coast of Australia. These majestic animals spend most of their time feeding on crustaceans and ocean flora. But be wary, all rays have a venomous barb that can be used to defend themselves if they feel threatened. Noticing that my Rubik's Cube had become dislodged, it was evident that something had disturbed it. But for what reason exactly, and why? This was troubling me. Alright Church, so we've got the footage back and I'm just going to play it through and find out exactly what happens out there in the secret world of the octopus. Alright. Oh, here you go. He's attacking something. Looks like it's an octopus. <laughs> He's kicking him out of his den. Well, there he goes. Oh, there's a fight! 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 Get in, Judy! Right, well, that explains the Rubik's Cube. All right, Church, so I'm a little bit disappointed in the fact that the Rubik's Cube actually wasn't solved. But it's interesting to see what happens when you're not there. Now, I don't think there was much curiosity based on the Rubik's Cube. Rather, I think it just got involved in the fight. But um, once again, very interesting to see their behaviour and quite territorial they are. 
The night evokes some bizarre creatures, with many nocturnal hunters becoming apparent. Will the octopus show his colours and give us a greater insight to his behaviour? I'm setting up an experiment, this time to see how the octopus will react to a mirror. Setting the stage, I've placed the mirror box on a ledge with surrounding lights and cameras on either side to catch any activity that may happen during the night. Researchers have identified that cephalopods such as squids and octopuses are actually colourblind, meaning that they only see in black and white but their weirdly shaped pupils may allow them to detect colour and mimic colours in their background. A closer examination of the eye of an octopus reveals that it is very complex. Octopus vision is very advanced. It can also be assumed that octopuses have personalities. Does this affect foraging success, habitat preference, ability to find a mate, or a heightened degree of curiosity? Would this experiment differ with an octopus who is timid or shy? Undoubtedly, it is attracted by what it is seeing. Wow, so there you go. Who would think that an octopus would be attracted to its own reflection in the mirror? But the interesting thing is when I watch this, I kind of see it in two different ways. Whether A, he was seeing his own reflection, or B, he saw it as an intruder, and with that curiosity and that territorial nature, drew him to want to get a closer look but i think what's interesting is this is all to do with the fact that they have such a high level of intelligence and who's to know what kind of social behaviors that they have out there when the cameras aren't on i think there's so much more that we can learn about studying these amazing creatures g'day mate my name's andrew Euclid, and i'm the owner and operator of Euclid's wild tours to find out how you can become part of Australia's wildest experience, come find me at yukelswildtours.com.